Hi guys, uh, welcome to my channel Audio Video Me. Uh, this is the part 2 of uh, uh, my first video which I made about uh, Yamaha AG06. Uh, so in this uh, uh, video I am going to show you the setup of uh, Yamaha AG06 uh, with uh, Logic Pro X. And uh, basically it's a plug and play. So what I have done so far is, uh, I mean your setup could be different. Uh, but I'll just go through it so basically what I did I just connected the USB to my Mac and uh, then connected uh, a microphone SM58 to channel 1 uh, as I said I haven't got any instrument yet like an electric guitar or, or an analog keyboard so I haven't connected anything to these uh, but obviously my MIDI keyboard is connected uh, which is uh, directly connected to uh, iMac via USB. Um, uh, here uh, I've connected on channel 5 and 6 I've connected the uh, Google Chromecast uh, but for some reason Google Chromecast is outputting some buzzing noise which uh, I have to uh, further test uh, why it is producing that buzzing noise. Uh, uh, is it just because I connect it to the mixer or is it if I connect it to any other device and it produces that buzzing noise which I'll I'll uh, 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 figure out later on I'll investigate okay uh, so uh, once I connected uh, the Yamaha AG06 to the Mac and uh, basically it just auto detected it and uh, I'll show you in logic like uh, if you go logic pro X preferences and uh, audio so in audio as you can see that uh, my output and input device uh, is AG06 uh, and uh, basically I didn't install any driver uh, it was just plug and play and it, it found the device uh, so that's my audio interface and uh, as I said this is a two channel in and out uh, audio interface uh, uh, that can record at 24 bit uh, at the sample rate of 192 kilohertz uh, okay so that's that and uh, my in my project settings it's gonna go audio and yeah sample rate is set 292 kilohertz okay if I go to the MIDI settings of uh, Mac then uh, the mixer is already the audio interface slash mixer is already detected here as well and you can see the maximum uh, default format is is 192 kilohertz and uh, it, it gives me various settings like CD quality, DVD quality and uh, anything in between up until 192 kilohertz. Okay. And uh, it says 2 channel 24 bit as well. So that confirms that it is a really high quality audio interface. Okay. Now here comes the good part. Uh, as I said, you know, it comes with this AG uh, DSP. Uh, application which is downloadable uh, from Yamaha website and I'll put the link uh, in the video description as well uh, so you guys can just uh, click on that link and download now this is really cool um, uh, obviously this DSP is not designed for uh, uh, recording uh, because obviously you can use your DAW software DSP uh, but uh, have a look uh, this is designed basically for live environment or if you're doing podcasting or webcasting that's why on the mixer when you set the mixer to dry channel 1 and 2 mode uh, then the DSP is not applied uh, so basically channel 1 and 2 uh, is used for uh, uh, audio recording as your audio interface uh, with your DAW but if you change it to input mix that means uh, uh, any 
uh, thing that's connected to the mixer uh, it's recorded as a stereo channel or it's broadcasted as a stereo channel uh, I'll demonstrate it's pretty good uh, these effects check one two so I'm on dry channel at the moment so from the mixer I'm gonna change it to input mix as you can see as I changed it to input mix it just applied the effect right away and this uh, DSP is in real time I mean if I cut down the frequencies then it's applied right away as you can probably hear one two let me switch on the HPF high pass filter test 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 one two hello 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 so this is applied real time I mean if I take the effect off from here like let me change it to stage test room one two 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 check so this is applied in real time and uh, you can always save 10 presets so if I have configured this like let's say this this or whatever settings I've configured I can just save it in user one profile and then just load user one so now uh, I have this effect uh, but I wanna go with the default at the moment test one two 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 three four so the same applies to channel two and then obviously the simulator settings they are here so if you switch them on and uh, whatever you do you know it's basically a dirty channel uh, it gives the simulation of a dirty channel if you connect your electric guitar to your uh, uh, amp speaker and uh, turn on the dirty channel then this gives you that effect uh, so this is a really really handy feature that it gives you a DSP controller for the price of only 110 pounds I mean it gives you DSP control compressor uh, parametric EQ HPF on channel 1 and 2 and then it gives you a uh, amp guitar uh, simulator effect and on top of that it gives you the reverb uh, like um, you have got endless setting for the reverb as well you got three different uh, presets of reverb and uh, I mean you can just uh, program the reverb to any setting you want so yeah uh, this is another cool feature of uh, AG uh, DSP controller and uh, I think for this price this is a lot of mixer uh, a lot of audio interface and a lot of mixer uh, and uh, once I'll do the recordings and stuff I'll leave some feedback uh, alright guys if you have liked this video please click on the like icon and uh, uh, subscribe to my channel thank you bye